What's up, gamers? GamerDad here, back for another item shop review. It is Friday, February 16th, just past 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Canada, and we have an item shop refresh. Want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks for subscribing, and if you're watching, you haven't done so yet, please do hit that subscribe button and show me that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. And without further ado, let's get the review. So we've got a new Jujutsu Kaisen outfit this evening. Here is Yuji Itadori. I'm not a huge fan of these. I have nothing against them. They're just not really my cup of tea, so I won't be picking them up. But I think this is actually a pretty cool looking one. Just the one style. And then you have the streetwear Yuji Itadori outfit. So you're getting two different outfits here. Again, and to be honest, actually, the more I look at this one, it does actually have a cool look to it. Then we have the Sukamoto Bear back bling. This thing's pretty hilarious looking. Oh, look at that. That is nasty. Then we have the Slaughter Demon Pickaxe. Definitely kind of a feeble looking pickaxe. Then we have the Jujutsu Kaisen Emblem Wrap. And it's got a cool look to it. It's nothing overly crazy, but it is, it's animated as well. 1600 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you get those two outfits with the back bling, the pickaxe, or the wrap on their own. Next up, we have Satoru Gojo. The outfit has two different styles and also comes with the Sweet Selection Back Bling for 1500 V-Bucks. We've also got the Megumi Fushiguro outfit. They all have a very similar tone and look to them. Here's the Khan Back Bling. Then the Megumi's Sword Pickaxe. Then the Shadow Play Dog Emote. That's hilarious. And the Shadow Play Max Elephant. No. Also kind of funny. So, 1900 V-Bucks for the Megumi Fushiguru bundle. We also have the Nobara Kugasaki uh, bundle here. So, there's the outfit. There's the Signature Straw Doll back bling. I remember when the Straw Doll Technique Mythic Weapon was in the game. That was pretty cool. And then we have the Kugasaki's Hammer pickaxe. 1800 V-Bucks for that bundle. Otherwise, if the bundles are too much, you can pick up those items on their own. So moving on down in the item shop, we've still got that snowsuit version of Black Widow available. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bundle, gear, splinter, April O'Neil. We still got Champion stashed in the house. Of course, the weekend is here. Wukong and Guardian Lin. The Valentine's Day outfits are still here. I feel like this might have actually just been recently added. We've got Candyman, so this is the Wild Hearts bundle. Here's Candyman in the Candyman Lego style. We have Lovethorn with the two different outfit styles. The Lego style looks pretty sweet. We have the Infatuation Pack Back Bling, which has two styles. We then have the Heart Beater Pickaxe, the Petunia Glider, and the Roses Are Red Wrap. So it's 2,500 V-Bucks for that bundle. Otherwise, you get either the outfits or the pickaxe or wrap on their own. The Royal Flush Bundle is still here. Cuddle King and Lovely Test Bundle. The Adana of the Deep Bundle and that Boot Up Group Emote. No Cure. Bunch of outfits here. So here we go. Finally, some new stuff. I wish they'd put the new stuff together. It doesn't really take that much effort. It would just make it simpler. Here's the Cloaked Shadow outfit. This is, I've actually been a fan of this outfit for quite some time. One of my subscribers, Kai C, really likes this outfit. And this is one that I eventually will pick up when I have extra V-Bucks. The Lego style is pretty sweet looking. Then we have the Shadow Wings back bling, and it's 1,500 V-Bucks for those items. We've also got Assault Trooper up next. Decent looking item and a really good price point for this one at 800 V-Bucks. The Lego style is pretty unique looking. I like it. Then we've got Chill Count up next. Another decent looking 800 V-Bucks skin. And at least it has the Lego style, which is also pretty sweet. At 800. We have the IDK or I don't know emote for 200 V bucks and the face palm emote is also 200. We've still got Innovator Sloan spark plug and the Potassius peels kicking it. Here is some new additions to the item shop. We've got Splatterella. The Lego style it's a kind of a common one that's not that unique and we have the Llama Buster back bling. 1200 V bucks for those items. Next up is Desperado. There's the Lego style. 
definitely like a weak attempt here. They will probably upgrade this eventually. Definitely not worth 1200 V-Bucks at this time, I don't think. We have Comfy Chomps up next. Comfy Chomps has two different outfit styles. This one is newer, released much later on. We have the Comfy Chomps Lego style, which I, again, it doesn't look too good compared to the original outfit. And we've got the Overbite Back Bling next, 1200 V-Bucks. Then we have the Sail Shark Glider. This is definitely one of my favorite gliders, but I would never spend 1500 V-Bucks on a glider personally, but I do think it's really cool. So we still have the McLaren bundle, the track items there, or the car items, all those jam tracks, and the packs down here at the bottom. So in terms of my favorite additions to the item shop this evening, I would probably go with Cloaked Shadow and Chill Count as my, my big favorites. And in terms of the Jujutsu Kaisen, if I was going to go with a favorite, it would probably be the UG Itadori uh, outfits there, the streetwear one or the other one. So... Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item is. Let me know if you're picking up anything for the shop tonight. Please drop a like in the video if you're watching. If you haven't done so yet, please do hit that subscribe button and show me that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Have a great evening. Until the next video, this is GamerDad out.